Hundreds are expected to take part in a peaceful protest in Worcester this evening. It is being organized by the group showing up for racial justice. Tonight's rally aims to spread the message. The city is welcoming a welcoming place for refugees and immigrants and should stay this way. Our Brittany Schaefer joins us with the details. Brittany. Olivia, the rally just began at 6 p.m. and will continue inside City Hall up until the City Council meeting. The meeting's most talked about topic on the agenda tonight is the immigration policies. These are the messages hundreds want to be heard at an immigration rally at Worcester City Hall. I'm going to be trying to inspire people to know that this is not just a one-time event, standing up for immigrants, standing up for refugees, and also standing up for um, Muslims. I think this is probably one of the most important times to stand in solidarity. According to immigration attorney Randy Feldman, President Trump's executive order allows any offense to send an undocumented immigrant back to their country. These two executive orders have so heightened the anxiety and the worry on the part of the immigrant community that now it's really where people are honestly afraid. Another question being raised at tonight's city council meeting is whether Worcester is a sanctuary city. Feldman says by his definition, it is. Sanctuary city is basically having to do with the police department, whether or not they're going to call the immigration service ICE when they arrest Somebody. The city released a statement Monday saying the Worcester Police Department does not have the authority or resources to enforce the federal immigration laws, but say they will not interfere with immigration enforcement. Just looking at uh, WPD and the stance that they have taken on protecting immigrant and refugee communities and standing by their policy of not questioning people on their immigration status, uh, to me speaks a lot about how sensitive local government can be. Many who are attending Tuesday's rally say the city is already handling its immigration policies well. Our police department here in Worcester has made it very clear they have no interest in contacting ICE except in the very rare instance where the uh, perpetrator is a violent criminal. We're going to continue to be the city that welcomes immigrants and refugees and that there's no need to have a change in direction and policy right now. Now, those I spoke to say to continue after the rally, they'll be speaking to local officials to ensure Worcester stays a welcoming city. Olivia. Brittany, thank you.